The United Kingdom finds itself at the crossroad of culture and health. A new bill in Parliament has reignited debates on first cousin marriages, a practice deeply rooted in tradition but increasingly under scrutiny for health concern. While some call for an outright ban, others, including Indian origin MP Iqbal Ahmed, argues for a more sensitive approach. So, let's dive into this complex story with the science, culture, and societal norms. Richard Holman, a consecutive MP, introduced the marriage prohibited degree of relationship bill in the House of Commons. His proposal seeks to ban first cousin marriages, citing health risks for children that are born from such unions. Well, the studies show that first cousin marriages could actually double the risk of birth defects in children. Holman emphasized that rates of these marriages remain particularly high in specific diaspora community, including British, Pakistani and Irish travellers. Globally, around 10% of marriages involve first cousins, with some regions reporting much higher rates. For example, let me tell you, in rural Pakistan, over 80% of marriages are between first cousins. In the UK, this tradition is prevalent among South Asian communities, specifically the British Pakistani where nearly 60% of marriages fall into this category. Then enter Iqbal Ahmed, an independent MP with roots in Gujarat, India. He opposes the proposed ban, but he acknowledges the health concern. Instead, he advocates for a public health-focused solution. Mohammed highlighted the cultural significance of cousin marriage and the community across the Middle East, South Asia and parts of Africa. He said, and I quote, Family intermarriages strengthen bonds and can provide financial stability. But we cannot ignore the health risk. He proposes advanced genetic testing and public education, similar to successful programs in Persian Gulf countries where mandatory genetic screening for couples are already in place. But Holwind and other supporters argue that cultural practices should not come at the cost of health risk. Now, his bill has gained the backing from several MPs Holman, on the other hand, cited evidence from the Oxford General of Law and Religion, which warns that children born from first cousin couple face uh, a lot of genetic disorder as compared to the general population. Now, the impact of these conditions extend beyond the families, placing a significant strain on the UK's national health services. And yet, Mohammed warns against stigmatizing community. He argues that ban could alienate minorities, creating division instead of fostering understanding. We must focus on health awareness rather than this prohibition. Now, if we talk about India, then cousin marriages are also part of cultural fabric, specifically in South Indian community, where cross-cousin marriages between a person with their maternal uncle child are actually common. But here the focus has shifted towards health awareness. Increasingly educated families are opting for genetic counselling before marriage. So, what's next? The bill has passed its first reading, but it faces a long road ahead. Without government backing, it is unlikely to become a law. However, the debate has sparked a broader conversation about how cultural traditions intersect with health issues. The question remains the same. Should health concern override cultural tradition or not? Or can we thrive a balance by fostering awareness and providing a resource? One thing is certain, this debate touches lives beyond parliament. It's about culture, identity and health of future generations. For more such stories, do follow Times XP.